Attack MS is a um, trial concept that tries to move um, the, uh, the early treatment the, uh, of multiple sclerosis essentially into a stroke type of scenario. Um, the concept is based on the fact that we have gathered increasingly data that uh, demonstrate the um, better longer term uh, outcome of people who are on highly effective treatment early on. However, uh, even those cohorts that are treated essentially f as their first disease-modifying treatment with highly effective drugs, they uh, on average have a delay between the diagnosis and starting treatment of one year. And we are keen to understand whether a yet earlier, so really at the very early phase of treatment uh, of, of the disease, where the treatment at that point can lead to essentially a maintaining normal life or a life in long-term remission in that situation or at that stage is possible. And this is what uh, attack ms is about. One of the key uh, problems with um, early diagnosis and then acting on that diagnosis is that people are often uncertain about the diagnosis because, you know, there are, are alternative um, uh, alternative diagnoses possible that need to be ruled out, and that takes time. And um, however, if the diagnosis is MS, any day, as it were, we hypothesize is a day lost for effective treatment. So we were thinking long and hard about what compound we could use for that scenario, and we came up with natalizumab, Tysabri, which is used for highly uh, active or rapidly evolving uh, severe MS. The advantage of that drug is, is that it has a very modest uh, side effect profile when you, certainly in the acute um, initial scenario, there's obviously the well-known risk of PML, progressive um, multifocal leuk encephalopathy long-term, but that doesn't play a role in this acute setting where attack MS will play out, which is very much focused on stop there and then the inflammation, um, uh, facilitate through that repair. And this is why our primary outcome is going to be the capacity of that scenario or that intervention to facilitate remyelination. We're using an MRI outcome for this called magnetization transfer ratio. And then subsequently, you can still go on to a different treatment um, if, if you wish, or, may, or, or continue on this one. So metalizumab has this um, advantage of being a, uh, have a fairly low risk profile, certainly in the short term. And if the diagnosis would turn out not to be MS, you also have the advantage that it actually is out the body without long-term effects. Um, so it's very different from a long-term B-cell depleter, say, oculizumab or cladribin, in the situation where the uncertainty can make people simply reluctant to use it, and uh, with, which, which is not the case with natalizumab. The trial is going to happen um, at three centres in London, uh, Chelsea and Westminster, um, St. George's Hospital and the Royal London, which is where I'm based. Um, we're hoping to start recruitment in August, 40 patients. Um, it's a placebo-controlled trial for the first three months. So you'll be randomized for steroids plus natalizumab or placebo. And then from then on for the remaining three months, everybody will be on natalizumab. This is um, uh, really uh, attack MS. We are um, tapping into new territory, though, when it comes to the, the speed here, right? So it's quite clear the 14 days have been chosen, really, as we see that as important for the time scale or the time course of remyelination and, um, and to sort of really start facilitating that from the earliest point uh, um, uh, possible is kind of a, a key element here. Um, and the, the, um, the, but the question of how to convey the potential diagnosis, because we will enroll only patients who are either having the diagnosis or who have at least an 80% probability of the diagnosis, and we will know that based on the MRI scan. Um, how do you do that in the sort of acute scenario, essentially almost like in the A&E? 
And fortunately, we have PPI involved. We have a fantastic uh, PPI member who is doing you know, surveys about this. And, and we will adapt to, um, from, from, to that feedback, how we actually um, uh, deal with this very early scenario. Well, I think it's very much about capacity. Um, I think this, this, um, uh, the the capacity at the moment is simply not there. We're obviously uh, working on more acute neurology um, in in the UK, um, but I think where our shortcoming there is is simply the supply of uh, neurologists, um, and I think this is where, where we need to work as a community harder. To, uh, to get to, to a level that is perhaps more akin to what you find in the rest of Europe or, uh, or in, the, in the US.